Elspeth, welcome. Hello, Peter. There will be some people out there who are not actually that familiar with your famous and very rigorous brand valuation methodology. So I wonder if you could uh, outline for us exactly how is it that you get to a dollar value of a brand? Yeah, no problem, Peter, because um, it's a very good question. It's a lot of times when people think about brand C, the first thing comes to mind is the brand value rankings. But actually, at the back of it is the largest brand equity database in the world. So since 1998, we have interviewed more than 3 million consumers of their perceptions on 100,000 brands in more than 50 markets around the world. So it's a lot of data. And we put these consumer perceptions at the very center of our valuation framework. And that's why we think Brand is the best in the market. It adopts one single global standard in evaluating brand equity as well as conducting brand valuations. We use credible sources of data. So we use Bloomberg and we use Kenta Retail, Kenta Well Panel data, which all come from a Kenta family. Last but not least, our strong brands portfolio is validated against the leading market indices. And in a minute, our global head of brand C, Doreen Wong, is going to talk about this in details. We certainly look forward to that. And uh, tell me, how then do you connect this massive database uh, into the actual dollar valuation? So for our brand valuation, there are mainly two components to it. Number one, financial value, which measures in US dollar terms the financial value directly driven by a brand. Secondly, brand contribution, which comes from our brand C brand equity database that measures a brand's ability to charge more and also to sell more. The two together will form what we call brand valued, and our brand value rankings is based on this brand valued. So this brand contribution is obviously extremely important. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that derives from the Brandsy database? Yeah, no problem. So brand contribution is very, very important in our valuation framework. So what happens is every year we will go out and talk to consumers all over the, all over the world of their perceptions on brands. And from these consumer perceptions, they're based on three aspects. So number one, whether a brand is meaningful, that is whether a brand could meet a need, as well as create emotional affinity. Secondly, whether a brand is felt differently and whether you could set a trend. Last but not least, whether a brand could come to mind very easily as measured by salience. So all three together will have an impact on how much a consumer is going to pay for a brand as well as how many they're going to sell. So all for these um, factors, this will have a direct impact on the financial performance of a brand as well. And this is exactly how we link brand contribution to financial value in our valuation framework.